Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Game 3, starting up right now between the... This time he's in red. The red Protoss player. This is Genius. Spawning in the bottom position on Metropolis. His opponent, the Blue Terran, spawning at the 3 o'clock. Liquid Taja. Game 3 in a best of 3. Actually, I've been saying it's a best of 3 without watching the entire series, so really I don't know if it was a best of three. This is from TSL4, the replay itself from Team Liquid Replay Pack. I believe number 38, I want to say. I'm not certain of that. Uh, it's available on TeamLiquidPro.com. Also, you can find it off of TeamLiquid.net. I'll put the link down there. These guys release great replays every week. They are exciting. They're fun to watch. I love casting them. It's great practice. I am Captain America SC2. You can find me on Twitter at Captain America SC2. You found me on YouTube already if you're watching this. Uh, you can email me at Captain America at the gspotnetwork.com. Send me uh, you know, a replay that you have that is particularly awesome, or, or send me uh, the name of a player you want to see cast. Leave it in the comments below. Like the video if you like what I'm doing. Let me uh, Give me some feedback. Tell me what I can do to improve and take this to the next level because I am back and I am bad. And I am ready to go. Oh yeah. Also, putting a plug out there for Team LXG. They do run tourneys twice a week. If you are between bronze and diamond in any of those leagues, except for Masters and GM and the Practice League, well, you can find a tourney to play in, man. These guys have some awesome tourneys Tuesdays and Thursday nights. They are fantastic. It looks like Liquid Teja actually going CC first here. And yes, it is the map to do that. Uh, Metropolis, these spawn positions, bit of a hike to get there, you know, close by air. Uh, let's see how Genius will respond. He's got a gateway down already and a gas. Will he go for a Nexus or a quick third? Actually going to put some Zealot pressure on. Cornering that Zealot out, likely get a second one as well. Here comes the second Rex at the top of the ramp. That probe trying to cause some damage. Trying to, you know, wound that little SCV. This stuff can be so annoying, but you have to learn how to hold it off. And we'll likely see a supply depot here in the middle to close that wall. Um, and it looks like there goes the Nexus. So we'll see a little bit of pressure here. Not an all-in from Genius. Just going to throw out actually just one one Zealot at this point. Do some damage. I uh, won't be able to do too much off the ramp, but could delay mining at the natural just a little bit. And uh, like I was saying before, yeah, there are some great tourneys. If you're blondes through gold level player, Tuesday night, so your thing, man. Tomorrow night, this is actually today. Today is Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check it out. You can find it on playhim.com. Team LXG. Oh, sell it. Is he going to get into the main? Looks like there goes the first Marine out, shooting at him. Trying to take him down. It gets a kill. There we go. He was able to get a kill. The probe actually falling to the Marine first. Now the wall off. So, Tage is going to be in a great position here to hold this. Um, still producing SCVs. He's got three Marines. We'll be able to push that Zealot back. It is just the one Zealot. Meanwhile, double gas here. Four Genius. Going to tech up quite a little bit. Uh, not opting for a quick third Nexus. Instead, going to play off two bases. That's his particular style. One I've seen in the first two games. Not really taking a fast third. A la parting. Um, instead, prefers to you know go for some tech. A, specifically the Robo. And at this point, he's actually going to throw down two additional gateways. So going 3-8 first, and then going to get possibly grab that Robo. But he's got two gas out. Let's see if he grabs any at the natural anytime soon. Uh, actually, a third CC now from Tejan. So he's going to go for the macro heavy style this time. And try and get up uh, a third base fairly quickly here. As he goes into the three rack style, we've seen him do with a double gas follow-up. Very standard. Uh, and the question will be, does he go for the upgrades first, or does he go for the medevacs? I'm thinking on a map like this, oh, Mule misrallied. Actually, actually, I have heard the rumor that mules do die. Yes, they do. And uh, if you have a mule mining minerals, and he picks up the minerals and starts to walk back to the CC, but dies before he returns, those minerals are lost for good. So what we might have seen there, I'd have to check the replay, teach up might have actually microed that mule off of the mineral line to prevent it from wasting resources. 
High level play from a high level player. Not something you see every day. And uh, there goes the eBay. So we're going to see the upgrades. Uh, Tech Lab forced him. And that factory, it'll be delayed a little bit. You know, the Metavax get pushed back about a minute. You can have 9 minute Metavax. Uh, I think Teja gets them out around 10 when he goes this this build. Um, Stim coming out now. And then we'll see a plus one. Likely another Tech Lab and a Reactor. And then a factory. Uh, third CC though. Okay, so Genius does finally get his third CC up. Definitely faster uh, than uh, we saw a similar game in game. Similar to this, uh, game one was very similar. Ah, I'm tongue tied. <laughs> there, oh, okay. So a factory before the add ons. And what happens here is you'll get actually before plus one starts as well. So plus one started now. And Teja going to be able to get a good timing with the Metavax, plus one, and Stim, and Combat Shield. Uh, by the time this finishes, we're talking a minute and ten. And then Combat Shield, of course, another hundred seconds. And you're talking about a hundred seconds from when this factory finishes to get. No, I'm just giving you too many statistics here. Don't worry about it. There'll be a nice timing window for Teja coming up with the Metavax and plus one. Also with Stim. Combat Shield will not be finished quite right away, but he's going to have a very heavy marine composition. Thing is, though, uh, we do have gateways for Genius here. Actually, going up seven. What is that? Seven gateways and a robo? Oh, no, eight gateways into a robo off three base. Not an all in. Eight gateways off a two base would be an all in. But he's on three. Definitely for that. Going to be able to hold off drop play very well with that number of gateways. Um, and we'll see if he goes for the robotics bay to get glasses out. A nice snipe from Teja grabbing that observer, seeing it right away, actually. Great positioning there. He's got the second tech lab down. There goes Marauder Slow. Uh, combat Shield on the way soon. And uh, up to five racks as well. We'll see plus one armor out of here as soon as plus one weapons finishes. There come those two medevacs. And you'll see these guys are going to finish. Marauder Slow and the medevacs are going to finish uh, pretty close to each other. Combat Shield, however, will be delayed quite a bit. And where is that unit? Where is the army? There it is, pushing out on the map. Check it. It's about 17 marines and 5 marauders. Gonna gain some map control, wait for those medevacs to get out. A second observer on the way to scout. And uh, let's see if Tage gets a scout of the third here. Robotics Bay have almost finished. Double Forge as well for Genius. Favoring that late game. Wants to get his upgrades out. He's a little bit behind at this point. Down 1-0 on the upgrades, but he will be able to catch up and go ahead of Tage quickly with this Double Forge. Meanwhile, Tage gonna fall back to his medevacs. And then do a push, going uh, for another reactor and a tech lab. Actually, supply blocks a little bit here. Throwing down two supply depots. That's why he's throwing this that extra reactor on there. So soon, uh, as an armory and a second eBay come out. So, actually, Teja might be able to stay ahead in upgrades in this game with that second eBay. Uh, though, the chrono is going to set him back. Just watch as that eBay finishes. He gets plus one armor. Has not yet started. Uh, combat shields on the way to finishing. And Teja really pushing out, gaining that map control, looking for some pylons. Going to drop here into the third, meanwhile poking into the natural with his units. Uh, and see if he can catch Genius off guard here. The position of the army a little bit poor there at the front, now pulling back. But Miss Micro here actually engaging piecemeal, and this drop able to do a lot of damage, picking off an immortal and a couple stalkers. Uh, and now, meanwhile, the Colossus with the main army here at the front pushing Teja back. So Teja has to fall back at this point. It's going to get a couple more Metavax popping and then probably we'll get the Viking production going. There we go. They are already queued up as he goes for plus two weapons um, and plus one ship weapons as well. His third is saturated. Checking the income tab. Terran Teja is up by about seven harvesters plus the three mules. So he's in a good position. Uh, upgrades are fairly close to each other. Still, plus one plus one has not finished yet. Four is a little bit behind here, engaging a little a bit of a sloppy engagement here. Surrounded by the bio, loses the Colossus. And now, these bio units, four Metavax here to heal them. They're gonna, it's going to take a lot of DPS to kill them. Second class is coming, but the sentry's falling. One more sentry left underneath here. And that last Colossus falls. This is huge. Tage is able to get out two Colossus out of this, as well as some sentries. Now he has to fall back with these medvax. Be careful here, gonna lose two. A couple Vikings sitting idle there, not doing anything. As a fourth base actually goes down. 
for Teja. Uh, ahead and upgrades, losing a bit of his army here, but able to snipe the gas units from Genius, getting a couple sentries and Colossus to set his opponent back. Very key, key moment here. Uh, and meanwhile, Teja still producing those Vikings, going Marauder Marine as well. It's very standard. Uh, looks like he's got four more racks here. Three tech labs and a reactor, plus possibly a second starport with a reactor. Yes, in the main, for that Viking production, supply depot's going down, and a ghost academy. He's getting ahead of his opponent here, uh, you know, anticipating a Templar switch, which is not yet in the works. As uh, Genius has taken so much damage to his army, he's unable to, to make that switch safely. Still trying to get some Colossus out, but staying with the heavy gateway composition. And I'm not certain if I agree with that. No Templar out here to support this army. Uh, you know, of course, no archives. I don't even know if there is there. A, there has to be a Twilight Council at this point, right? Tell me, there is a Twilight Council. Is there? A, there we go. <laughs> Just started building, actually. So Teja, yeah, he's a little bit behind on his switch here into Templar. Uh, also behind on upgrades, as he cannot start two two without that Twilight Council. I'm sorry, Genius, a little bit behind on the upgrades and the, the uh, Council. Here come the Zealots, and this uh, this could be a bit of a rough spot. Engagement going down. Teja in a great position here. Only one Colossus on the field. Zealots up front tanking the damage, but they are all going to go down. And looks like Teja might actually be able to push in. He's stemmed a bunch of units forward to get that Colossus. It micros back onto the high ground and falls at the last second. More Zealots coming in, but they are forced to fall back. GG. Genius. Going down to Teja here in the final game of the TSL4 series between these three, these two players. Great games from Teja. If you're a Terran and you're struggling in TVP, watch what this guy does. He's, uh, he's really good at it. It's a pleasure to watch it. Captain America, SC2, signing off, guys. You keep crafting. Send me some replays. And have a good night.